Hey guys, so the theme for this art activity is air and you've been looking at that with Sarah. So first of all, you need to find a piece of felt, a colour that you like and trace around a template with Sharpie. Uh, make sure you hold the paper in place, carefully cut it out. Now, I thought I was going to go in the direction of blues, but then I thought, oh, I've got water next to it, so I wasn't sure. So then I went on to warm colours. Think about what colors you want to do because warm colors are found in sunsets you want to kind of use sky colors perhaps maybe not greens or that might look a bit grassy and so like I had fun using all these warm colors but if my backing was say a yellow it would have had a much better effect or I probably could have kept layering it um, but yeah think about think about what colors you may want so so you don't cut here you don't cut the wool you just hold it hold it further back and then pull it because you don't want sharp lines and it also is easier for the wool to stay together if it hasn't got um, cuts so firstly you can lay it on there and decide whether you like it or not or otherwise pull the bits back off and put them with the the bunch of color that it came from so if you're happy with that use one of these needle felting needles and gradually like every now and then I should say take your work off of the foam you'll actually probably be using those gigantic cushions just take the covers off them uh, that, that are in the art shed and you can just as a group use those big cushions to pinprick um, needle felt this so pretty much we don't need it all needle felted in so it's all a flat piece of work it's nice to have that bit of dimension but you do need to needle felt it enough that the wool felt is going to stay on there and not fall off so you can turn and twist the wool make curvy I liked those like not quite a spiral but those kind of curvy shapes like wind is sweeping through um, to represent air I also made some puffy Kind of clouds just to um, give more sp the idea of space and you know dimension so the colors that I used in the background were kind of warm sunsetty colors but I think it would have looked a, maybe a little bit more effective if I did pinks you know went from pinks to yellows uh, to oranges to yellows like a graduation of colors rather than a conglomeration of them all everywhere um, so sometimes these are the things you you uh, learn a bit later on when you're wanting to give it a crack it was still a lot of fun um, so on the other side just just really to show you an idea of you know another color option would be blues or grays or sometimes you can get purples fine just think about maybe some sky colors because if you're using greens and things that might look more like land and a paddock rather than something that may have a lot of air like the sky for example or the atmosphere around you so yeah use that you could use grays um blacks um, just be mindful of your black because that can take over um, white so I've only just started there that's not my finished product I haven't needle felted it um, so yeah I hope you have fun with this have a bit of a play before you commit to needling it in and make sure when you push and pull the needle in and out that you're not pulling it back out on an angle because that's how your needles are going to snap so please be mindful not to go too quickly with them, but especially to not push them in and then pull them out at another angle. Alrighty, have fun guys.